Hello and welcome. We're on question seven and it's a statistics and probability question. And in the first part, let's read it out. We have a data set for the weight of animals in a shelter. You can see on day X and day Y, we have two different sets. So we need to draw this stem and leaf plot down below. So we got to look at the key here because the key will tell us how to input this data down into the table of the stem and leaf. So the six refers to the whole number like the seven here and then the point seven would go on the other side then which would be over here. So for instance we'd have six and then seven over here. So the key is very important. So let's fill in all these values. And when you fill in the values, you can see that we're going to get this distribution on the left hand side for the X set and on the right hand side for the Y set. All right, so we're going to analyze this data, but let's look at the 5.4 here and let's see how it was inputted. So we have 5.4 kg inputted into day Y so we have five for the whole number and then four on the right hand side then. And you can start the description across the row from low to high. So we start at four, then move on to five. Over here we have 5.3, move over from left to right. And this will give an accurate distribution for reading. Let's go on to the next part. So what does the stem and leaf plot show about the weight of the dogs in day X and day Y? All right, so let's have a quick look at it. Well, we can see here that day X values are on the lower side. So we have the, we don't have a value in the 80 kilograms, but in day Y we have an 81 kilogram. You can see here there's the bulking out here along the 60s and 70s so we have a bulk the main proportion is in the 50s here on day y so on day y we have higher values not not a great amount higher but substantially enough so that we can see clearly so day y weights are generally higher And that will do as your answer. So you don't have to calculate any values, just a description based on the actual uh, spread or distribution of the stem and leaf. Let's look at part three. So now we're going on to the correlation coefficient. We want to assess the correlation coefficient between day X and day Y based on the diagram. So we have four values here, negative point nine, negative 0.2 and negative 0.2 again po uh, positive and then positive 0.9. So 0.2 would mean that there's very little variation. 0.9 on the other hand means they're close. So if we go back to our actual table, we can see they're very close. You know, 7.4 and 7.9 are pretty close. Again, 5.3, 5.4. So if we look at matching pairs, they're very close. So we have a strong correlation. Therefore, we're going to pick 0.9. And we're picking positive 0.9 because there is a consistency there as well. So we give a reason. So there's a strong consistency of similar weights in both categories. We can say both X and Y categories. And that will suffice. Let's go on to the next part now as we're going on to probability. All right, so the most important thing here now is to get started and fill in the table because we need to use the data in the table here. So we can see here that 
we have cats and dogs okay and we have totals so what can we fill in st at, at the start well if we have the total down here then we can fill in this one here because 14 from 40 will give 26 ducks okay so when we have that one filled in we can see what else is remaining so if we go across this row now we can see that 11 plus a number will give 26 so we can fill in 15 now we can go downwards here and here okay and fill in our last two values and we're going to get 9 plus 15 is 24 and 5 plus 11 is 16 and that that makes sense because 16 plus 24 will give 40 so we do a check there as well so let's look at the questions so three different animals were picked at random from the animals in the shelter find the probability that the first animal is a cat so let's go back because this will be a probability and remember the total amount of animals is 40 so it is a cat and it, it's not specified whether it's male or female so we're going to take the 24 because it's just a cat and that will be over the total so let's write it down so probability of a cat not specified whether it's male or, male or female so again we have 26 cats 24 cats over 40 okay and that can be simplified divide above and below um, and we can get um, divide in by 8 above and below so 8 into 24 we'll give 3 and 8 into 40 will give 5 so it's 3 over 5 chance of choosing a cat find the probability that all three animal that all three animals picked were male dogs give your answer correct to three decimal places so we need to use a calculator here so probability of male dogs okay so we have to go through now the uh, three trials for choosing so we'll just go t1 t2 and t3 so we got to look at it um as a exercise at uh, of probability for each trial so the first part would be to find out the specific amount so it would be male dog so 11 out of 40 is going to be the probability of a male dog for the first choice so probability one so probability is going to be 11 over 40. Okay, and then the second one then, remember we would only have 10 dogs remaining if we choose one. And that's 40. And then we would have a total then of 39 choices. And again, if we choose a male dog again, we'd have nine. And remember we would have also that's 39 and then 38 so you can see there it's one less one less is going down and going down so we're one less negative one all right so if there are three trials in succession then that means it's we're going to use the and rule so when it's the and rule we're therefore we're going to multiply because we want to get the three sides so let's multiply them out so we're going to get a result of 11 by 10 by 9 all over 40 by 39 by by um, 38. So the probability of three male dogs is equal to. So do this with your calculator and let's round it up. So we're going to get 0 0.167. Zero point zero one six seven. So let's go to three decimal places now. So we're going to round here on the third decimal. So the six seven will go up to seventy. So we're going to get zero point zero one seven. So very low probability there. On to part D. 
we have five female cats in five separate pens. Work out the number of ways in which this could be done. So if we're filling in the the actual uh, cats into different nine different pins well if we fill in the first cat we'll have nine choices so one will be used up then onto the eight so then eight so we just keep going until we've used up all the pins and the number will be going down so that's nine factorial put that in your calculator and you'll get a result of three t six two eight eight zero Okay, so very straightforward there. So um, just use the factorial in your calculator. Part E. By the end of the week, 10 of the animals have left the shelter and no new animals have been taken in. So we have 10 reductions. So that means the total will be 30. So let's write that in. So the total now, the new total is 30. Right, so we have the probability of a dog is equal to 11 over 15 and we need to find how many cats are left. So probability of dog is equal to 11 over 15. So that's not how many dogs, okay, that's a proportion, it's a fraction. So if the fraction is 11 out of 15 dogs, then the probability of cats then will be 4 over 15. And all we need to do that is multiply it by the total because remember it's a percentage or a proportion. So the number of cats then can be expressed like this. So it's the probability of the cats multiplied by the total. Okay, it makes sense. And that would be 4 over 15 multiplied by 30. And I will give a result of 8 cats. And that's question 7. Thank you for joining Mats Plus.